this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create your own DIY sheared top. I've got a few examples of some sheared tops I really like. I like the effect the tie straps give and how floral fabric looks once it's sheared so I knew I wanted to create something with a floral fabric. So this is the fabric I ended up choosing. It's a cotton floral fabric and it has a really nice weight and structure. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut out two rectangles that are 1.5 times the width of your bust and 10 inches long. Place one end of the fabric right sides together and sew down one side seam. This is what it should look like. Next you'll want to press open the seam and double fold the top and bottom edge. You want to do this across the whole width of the fabric and press in place. Once pressed, sew down the edges of the hem all the way down the width of the fabric. As you can see, the whole width of the fabric is now pressed and stitched in place. The next thing we're going to do is draw guidelines on the right side of the fabric. This will help us when shearing. I decided to draw six points that are about a one inch height. Shearing is normally done with thin lines, but I decided to use thicker lines and that's why I drew six points instead of something like 12 points. You'll want to use elastic thread in the bobbin. To do this, you'll need to wind the elastic by hand instead of threading it through the machine like normally. Use the lines that we drew on top of the fabric to help you in stitching your shearing lines. After a few stitches, it should start to gather underneath the foot. This is what the fabric looks like after six rows of shearing. Now we'll want to press the fabric with lots of steam and this will help it shrink and get a lot more elastic -y. As you can see, once it's pressed, it really has that sheared look and feel. Now we have to turn the fabric right sides together and sew along the side seam. For a clean and neat finish, I decided to use an overlocker to finish the edge. Alternatively, what you could do is use pinking shears, 
or you could even do a French seam. To create the tie straps, what we'll need is four rectangles that are 10 inches high and 2.5 inches wide. Fold the strap right sides together and sew one end closed and along the length of the fabric. Repeat this step for all four straps. This is what the strap should look like before we turn them right side out. You'll want to clip the corners and reduce the seam allowance by cutting it off. To flip the straps right side out, I'm actually using a loop turner that I bought from Amazon. It's really inexpensive and it makes the process a lot easier. I actually ended up also using a pencil to push through to the edge of the strap to make sure there was a nice clean and crisp edge. Once you've turned all four straps right side out, you want to give them a good press. This is how they look after they've been pressed. Now what we're going to want to do is pin the straps in the right place. The best way to do this is actually to try the sheer top on and then once you've got it on you, pin the straps where you'd like them to sit. So I've tried on the sheer top and I pinned the straps while it was on my body just to make sure they're in the right place. You'll want to make sure the raw edges of the straps are what we're going to pin to the bodice. Now what we're going to do is take it to the machine and sew it. This is the finished top. I tied the straps on and they look really cute. I really hope you liked this tutorial. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.